Hey guys, Neo Mase. So for today's news, I want to talk about it's finally been confirmed that Lauren Koscielny, that useless leader that we had at Arsenal Football Club, has officially left the football club. I'll be giving my thoughts and views around that. Also, Eddie and Ketty are being linked to Bristol City as well to a range of other uh, championship clubs and this rumor that just won't go away. Philippe Coutinho again been linked to Arsenal Football Club and said that a loan is imminent. Stay tuned to my thoughts and my views and if you haven't done so already please hit the subscribe button, share this video and follow me on my social media platform at King Neomis. Now let's go. So, Lauren Koscielny. Now, it said literally about 10 minutes ago, and the time now is 3 p.m. here in the UK, that Lauren Koscielny is officially left Arsenal. And you know what? Even though I have been very salty about Lauren Koscielny and his actions over the past several weeks since we first heard that he refused to go on the US preseason tour, uh, it's it's one of those where if, if I'm gonna look at it objectively, I'm very disappointed with. Um, I'm overall disappointed in him and his actions. He, he's a player that I thought would be ending at least his Arsenal career at the end of the season. I, I was already planning on getting a ticket to the final game to be seeing Koscielny to, you know, clap him off and say thank you Koscielny for the memories. He was one of our best two defenders along with Perma Asaka during the Emirates era and he's completely tainted that. I, I I mean I'm not a football player, never been a football player, I was always crap at football in school but how could you go and taint your reputation as a footballer with one of the clubs that you've been with for what the past eight nine years? Like it's it's so so sad like it's I mean, he, he's he's ruined it. Like, I don't know what he's what he's gonna be doing after he retires. Um, it's from what I understand. Yesterday, this all really started with the fact that he wanted to get a two-year extension on his current contract, and Arsenal were not willing to do that. And from since then, he's just thrown all of his toys out the pram and has basically given the middle finger up to the Arsenal board, even when they tried to resolve issues. Like Unai still wanted this guy, still wanted him in the squad, even after everything. And he still just went and just palmed us off. So you know what? Thanks for the memories, but goodbye and good riddance. I have no time for Lauren Koscielny. I'm so glad I never bought a Lauren Koscielny shirt. I mean, the shirts that I buy are normally of players that I really value. And um, it's so sad. Um, that it's really ended this way for Lauren Koscielny. Now, let's get to some actual proper news and get away from all this negative situation. Eddie and Ketia, um, as you prob guys have probably seen, during this trans during this preseason, um, Eddie and Ketia had his started the preseason well um, against Colorado Rapids. And I know he had some good chances against Real Madrid, but overall he just didn't like he wasn't consistent enough with the goals and now he's been linked with a move away and you know what I really do think that this is the best thing for Eddie and Ketia it was I, I kept on saying it time and time again unless Unai Emery was going to mandatory say you know what Eddie I will be bring when I want to take off a striker and I'm bringing like for like you will be that like for like guy if that is, that's the only way Eddie and Ketty was going to get games for Arsenal. And if Unai Emery has decided he doesn't want to do that, then he's got to go out alone. Um, and I think going to a championship club where you know he's going to be playing the majority of games, I, I would easily say 30 games minimum. And it's probably at the level that he is at right now. Let's see what he can do. Um, I. I mean, with the amount of games that he's playing close to 40, including maybe some cup games, I I'm expecting somewhere close to about 20 goals for Eddie and Ketty uh, this upcoming season, if he does go to the championship. Uh, and I, I don't believe that the championship is that far away 
from the Premier League and I think this is ideal for him and I think for being a striker at a team like Arsenal it's very very difficult to be able to do that uh, and with us uh, right now signing Pepe who yes he can play up front but that's not his ideal position we've still got John Jules in the academy as well who just signed a new contract so yay to, to John Jules um, you know, this is a good opportunity for Eddie and Kier. He is the future. He's going to get time and a, and a real proper chance at Arsenal. I just don't think that the time is right now. So um, there it goes with Eddie and Kier. Hopefully he manages to get uh, a good loan this upcoming season over the next couple of days and that to be confirmed. And then, yeah, let's really see how it goes uh, and then we'll kind of take it from there and yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing Eddie Nketiah in the future. It's just a, an unfortunate that it won't be this season um, with the Arsenal. And then finally, uh, big, big, like, I don't even know if this is big news, but Philip Coutinho, again, this rumor, I talked about this a few days ago, check the video out on, on the channel. Uh, like, why is this even still relevant? But it's said that, and it's said by the keep in um, in France, that uh, a loan move for Philip Coutinho is, is imminent. And I don't quite understand where this is coming from. Uh, th this has to be just one that's in relation to his agents. Uh, I mean, Unai Emery even came out and said, and, and I quote, Philip Matteo, or paraphrase. Philip Coutinho is a good player, but we've never had any contact with him and we're not interested in him. Even Julien Laurent uh, in France, uh, a French journalist that you guys would have sometimes heard on the Guardian podcast, came out and said that they're not interested in Philip Coutinho. This is something that's, that's not going to happen, that Arsenal are prioritising a defender more than anything else, and that they've been looking for a defender for a little, a little bit while now. So now that this come out with rumours about Upper Mancana, it kind of makes sense. So. Still, I, I don't know what to say about this Philip Coutinho stuff. I, I really don't know if it's going to happen or not. I don't really care if we get Philip Coutinho. I don't see why that we would need him when we have a lot of young players that I do think should be getting chances. And you still have Meza Erzo and you still have Mkhitaryan. And unless one of those leave, I was sorry, unless both of them leave, to be really honest, I don't really see why we would get in a guy like Philip Coutinho. But let's see what happens i think this transfer window for arsenal is going to be an interesting one and thursday 5 p.m is the deadline so i guess anything could really happen but guys thank you again for watching this video give me your thoughts on what you think about this philip coutinho stuff this stuff is not going away in regards to him uh what do you think in regards to the, the upper meccano situation with a defender um i've heard even more now that uh, Daniel Rogani, we're going to put in another bid for him. Um, and also, Upper Meccano, 70 mil. It's, I mean, things are getting thick and fast. I, I don't even know where to start and stop. But leave your comments below on what you think about the topics I've discussed today uh, in regards to Philip Coutinho, in regards to Eddie Nketia, and in regards to Lauren Koscielny. Leave your comments below. And once again, thank you for all the comments and all the videos that you've been given. Really appreciate the thoughts. It's good to kind of get an idea on what you guys think about a lot of the players that a lot of times when I'm doing my research, I don't know 100% about them and that, you know, getting your opinions on them has really, really helped with that. So leave your comments below and I will see you guys next time. Peace.